20 seconds in Thailand, Thailand Rob. Everybody welcome to the channel that's new. There's been a lot of new subscribers that just showed up. So I thought today, one, I want to show you where my front, my front door is basically. That's there. But I can't film this way because then I get really, really dark like this. Actually, that's probably a better idea because I'm not that good looking. Oh, 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 Yes, this is Kamala Beach. Today, what I want to talk to you about is why I left America. Because a lot of you don't know the whole story. I'm going to summarize it and then go into some more details and then tell you why you may want to do what I have done. First and foremost, why is the channel called 20 Seconds in Thailand? The reason the channel is called 20 Seconds in Thailand is because three years ago when I got here, th almost three years ago when I got here, I would do a 20 second video on Facebook to let everybody know what I was seeing, how I was doing, and what life was like over here in Thailand. But let's back up. Why did I even come to Thailand? The reason I came to Thailand was in 2015 I was let go from my last job. And I told everybody I was extremely interested on what it would be like in Thailand. Because I had done the research, I found out that the Thai bot goes a long, excuse me, squirrel! The dollar goes a long way with the Thai bot. Right now we're at 32 baht per dollar. I look to see how much it would cost to, to rent a house. The Thai women still appreciate American men, unlike other countries. Just try to go to um, Italy, see how that works out. Even though I did buy a one-way ticket and come to Thailand, it wasn't in my mindset to just pack up and move to Thailand forever. It was a vacation. And that's what I tell every one of you that write me and ask me about coming over here and moving over here is come for a vacation. Come for two or three months, check it out, see if it's for you, see if you like it. Now let me tell you what happened. Cheers. So when I get over here, the first thing I do is go into panic mode that I need to find a job, teaching English, doing something because maybe I just want to stay over here. The dollar goes a lot farther over here. The cost of things are so much cheaper over here, except for beer. I wish beer was a little bit cheaper. Beer is still about the price of, I, you know, two fifty or something a beer, which is not too bad. But after I was here for a while, I ended up assimilating with the Thai people. Not just staying as an expat and only hanging out with expats. I actually lived in a part of Bangkok where there were no uh, uh, foreigners. I mean, there might have been five in the whole town. The Thai people thought I was lost. There was not even street food carts. I was so far on the west side of Bangkok. But what happened is I became part of this Thai family and with April, if you go back and look at all the old videos, you'll see April and Boom and Pawn and you'll see that I actually assimilated with them to the point where I started to just love the culture here. The culture was so much more like everything you would see from the 1950s. Even if you go back and look at the uh, Happy Days TV show, it was like that. If you take your clothes to get washed somewhere, they know who you are, they remember your face. If you need your motorbike fixed, it's done within minutes or hours, not days. So the culture here just became overwhelmingly cool. It was so cool. You were not just a number or a statistic or just a, uh, uh, a, do a dollar. You were not just a dollar, even though everyone over here likes to sell you something. This is true. They do like to sell a lot of stuff over here. That's in the tourist areas, Rob. Tourist areas, not everywhere. Sorry. But what ended up happening over the past three years? Why I left America? Let's just get down to it. Why did I leave America? I was going over this story just the other day and it was when you get your water bill over here, you get a bill for water. That's what you get. When you get a water bill in America, you get the water bill, you get the sewage bill, you get the runoff tax, you get the water tax, you get the sewer tax, you might get a community tax, and you then, mm-hmm, you see where I'm going with this. So a dollar here, or a bot here, goes a lot further than a dollar, or well, there's no bot over there, but again, you know where I'm going with this. Also, the culture over here is, if you're a city guy, you like New York, you like Las Vegas, if you're a country guy, you like to live out in the Midwest. I have met everyone over here. And you know what's cool about Thailand is ah. there is the same place everywhere that you can go for what your culture is. If you like the big city, you have Bangkok. If you like the calm but modern type of living, uh, up north Chiang Mai. You want the country living, Isan. 
Very easy for that one. You want to live on a little Gilligan's Island? Well, this isn't the Gilligan's Island. You want to live on an island with a beach? There's a place for you here as well. You want to live somewhere like in Florida, like the Key West. Key West, how we go? Koh Phi Phi. Koh Phi Phi reminds me of Key West. I can go anywhere in Thailand and find a spot that meets my needs. If I'm in the mood for the big city, I'm off to Bangkok. If I'm in the mood for my island, I stay here in Kamala. If I want to go to Key, Key West, want to go to Key West? Well, that'd be nice to go back to Key West. That place is pretty crazy. If you've never been to Key West, hit, hit up Key West. So the reason I left America was because I found what America used to be like over here. Yeah, there is some adapting to do. I mean, the, the heat over here is completely, no, the humidity over here is completely different. It's like living in the middle of Florida, which I don't know anybody that lives in the middle of Florida, but there's no wind coming in. The reason I picked the beach is when I lived in Florida. I lived in Sarasota, and there was always a breeze coming in from the ocean, so that made it feel not so hot. But we had air conditioning there. Here, you just sweat. Drink your water, children. Always drink your water. You're gonna sweat all day long here. Heinz knows what I'm talking about. We had this conversation. Hi, Heinz. We had this conversation the other day. You get so used to just sitting here, you don't realize that you're sweating the whole time and that you get dehydrated. This doesn't hydrate you. Cup. By the way, this video was shot and produced at the Lucky 13 restaurant. Actually, it wasn't produced here, but well, yeah, I'm the producer. So. They make really good sandwiches if you just want a basic American type sandwich. I should adapt to Thai food, but I still like sandwiches. And by the way, if you're looking for a Thai wife, which most of you are not, they got a second shirt coming out pretty soon. But the, 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 the How to Get a Thai Wife t-shirt is still on the website, thailandrob.com. It works. All you have to do is put the shirt on, ask the woman what it says on the back, and you're in. I tell you, I am the best wingman ever. I made a shirt for you that works. I don't even have to be there. I made a shirt for you that works. All of you that just bought it, thank you very much. Did you pick up I didn't mention one thing about women? <laughs> There's going to be a part two of this one. Oh. Can you take this asshole back to America, please? Woody, Woody, don't forget that. <laughs>